pretend to be that person. Doing a little psychology on this kid. Oh God, what is that? Hey, what's going on everyone? Rob back with another reaction. And today, I was scrolling through Netflix, looking for something to watch. This movie, Vibarium, was on the trending list. And I was like, oh shit, is that my boy, uh, Jesse Eisenberg, Mark Zucks? And yeah, and reading through the plot, <laughs> it seemed like a Twilight Zone episode or something. What does Vibarium even mean? Apparently, an enclosure, container, or structure adapted or prepared for keeping animals under semi-natural conditions for observation or study. So, I don't want to read any more, but this seems pretty cool. So, uh, leave a like and subscribe, and let's check out Vibarium together. This could be fun. Alright, I guess this came out in 2019. I never heard of it. But I do feel like a lot of shit in 2019, definitely in 2020, got just kind of ignored, man. We had more important shit to pay attention to, I guess. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh. <laughs> you know, it's actually kind of cute if you look at it. <clears throat> I got a crush on her, too. That really is what sold me. Never mind the plot. Emojin Poots? Is that her name? Yeah, man. Yeah. Interesting. I'm sure that image is going to make sense later on. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, I forgot she's British, too. Oh, she's like a hippie teacher. There's any females watching, or males, if you know. What's that haircut called? You got the bangs and a little bit of the sides coming down with the ponytail in the back. There's got to be a name for that. I'm a fan. There's Zuckerberg. What are you known from? This the Facebook movie or Zombieland? It's one of those two. <laughs> oh, are they a couple? Man, how did he land her? He definitely outkicked his coverage on this one. Jeez. <laughs> Dude's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> those eyes. Something different, a nice blend. Man, this guy seems like a robot or something. Near enough. Like an alien. It's not exactly what we're looking for, but um, I suppose it's worth, worth a look. Yeah, these don't seem like the suburbia type. We're all happy then. I don't know if I'm really the suburban type. Like, I grew up in the suburbs, but yeah, maybe I am. I don't know. Yonder. Look at all these houses, dude. That ugly ass color. I would check it out just to out yonder. of pure curiosity, but hell no, dude. The walls are all painted Neos the same. Have the living room. It's a room to live very in. generic. Something me, man, I, I need it to be a little bit... Something I can make my own. A little bit unique. Do you have children? No, and not yet. <laughs> I don't like his stare. You know, who am I to judge? I'm sure there would be a lot of people that would... Love to have a spot like this. It's a lot of space. Hello? Nope. <laughs> the real estate agent just dipped. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. This does feel very Twilight Zoney. Yeah, this is the way we came in. No. I mean, how can you tell? Everywhere looks the exact same. I, I would even find your way out of that place. Oh man, watch. They're not gonna be able to get out of here, are they? Number nine again. Did we just do some kind of loop? <laughs> How would you Yikes. You're in like a maze or something. Okay, come on. Give me a go. You wanna go? Yeah. You wanna go on the call? Yeah. What are you, six? Yeah, I'm six. Come on, just... Classic stubborn guy move. Give me... Let me drive. I'll get us out of here. Oh, give you... <laughs> no, man. You're stuck here. Number fucking nine again. Oh. This is pretty damn creepy. 
be honest. I've seen a single car. There's nobody here. If I see another road okay, greenhouse, I'm going to lose my mind. Be so stressful. Hope you brought a carton of those cigarettes, dude. <laughs> Man, it's just pure black. You might as well go inside. Pop on the TV. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well, man. I'd just start walking. Like, hopping backyards. I would not sleep here. Uh, that's a good idea, actually. Oh. <sighs> just goes on and on. Tom, what do you see? Kind of like Truman Show-ish hey, a little bit. Alright. At least they're doing what I would do. Yeah, just walk. You're bound to hit the end sometime. Hello? Maybe there's Hello? other people stuck there with them. Hello? What's happening? Oh, they're probably back at number nine. Oh. Someone left them like a care package. Oh, good idea. I didn't even think about that. I'm sending out a smoke signal. Good idea, Tom. I mean, how far was the drive out there? Surely someone must have saw that shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Raise the child and be released. Maybe I was. Maybe it is like an alien simulation type thing. I don't know. It's a cute little baby, but... Wow. Yeah, you're just like... mice in a cage. Wow, a kid got old. How long have they been there? Kid must be like five years old or something. way out of here. Everywhere has a way out. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Yeah, well, maybe, Gemma, if you didn't say no to every other goddamn house we looked at, we wouldn't have ended up here. So I'm to blame? How is this my fault, Tom? <laughs> He's, like, imitating them, I, I suppose. It's not this poor kid's fault. You know? Or maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know where this movie's going. I'm... What is your dog? We already told you what a dog is. Woof, 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 day 85? Woof, 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 This is like a nightmare, man. Straight up. Ah, man. Yum, yum. This little alien baby. Yeah, so I guess they did a little passing of time that they didn't show. Man, he must, unless they're giving him cigs on these care packages, he must be just rationing out like one drag a day or something. Mm. <laughs> did you see that animation? That was like <laughs> some Beetlejuice animation. Oh yeah, time to start digging. Yeah, I almost wonder if they're in some type of simulation, like it's not even the real world. Tell me. Maybe they like got kidnapped and it's gone. put a microchip in or something. I don't know, I'm just theorizing here. You might as well dig, you ain't got shit else to do. Oh hell. No. No, we're already there. I was just about to say, you're already in hell. At least in that movie, the Bill Murray movie Groundhog's Day, there's like other people around and he's stuck in a time loop. This sounds just like absolute hell on earth. Oh, okay. Getting a little spicy. Tell you what, this would be one way to ruin a healthy relationship. Yeah, he's gotten pretty far down there. Oh, 
I'm just trying to think of stuff I would do in this situation. Yeah, I was gonna ask, do they at least get to watch TV? Well, this dude's just slowly losing his mind, digging a hole. That just shows how miserable and sterile the last couple months have been. Like, any semblance of the real world brings them some kind of happiness. Something to remind them of the real world. Hey, the kid's getting in on it. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I mean, that kid could just be a normal kid. Although he is growing crazy fast. Weird. Did you see the way he was observing them? Kind of like studying them? Like, oh, what are they doing? What is this dancing? Jeez, dude. That is like nails on a chalkboard. Dude, just please, Gemma, let me do this. Please, Gemma, oh. just please. Just when she started to open up a little bit to the kid. Now, quick reminder that that's fucking like alien kid, dude. Yeah, it looks like they, you know, they're still into each other. Or maybe he's he's not into it anymore. Man, you're stuck in there with one other person. You only got each other. I am fucking disgusting, you know that? I am fucking disgusting. They put some kind of, like, filter on his voice. It's so annoying and it does seem like, yeah, every morning. It's the same old breakfast, dinner, same breakfast. At least they could have switched it up. Hit him up with some pancakes or French toast or something. Not just eggs and... I did hear something. Uh, yeah, I wonder what the hell that is. No! Some kind of alien transmission. The kid can tell what it what, am I supposed what to it's do saying, that? right? <laughs> oh god, man. I can't handle it anymore. I've only been watching this for 45 minutes. Can you imagine day in and day out? I'm locking it up. I'm gonna start. Tom. Tom is over it. You're losing it, Tom. Although he has a point, man. Okay, if they don't want it to die, they'll come for it. It sounds terrible, but I I think I agree with him. You gotta change something. Although if you let that kid die, I mean you might be next. They might sit kill you guys. It's like the uh if he dies, he dies. It's like that Ivan Drago quote. Man, she's gonna let him out. See, she already kinda is treating the the kid like it is, like she is the mother. Which is what the aliens want. See? Talking to him like he's a real human. You're getting too attached. Look, now they're holding hands. It's like those two versus him. Did maybe she's on to something. Maybe the more she learns yes. about him, maybe she can figure something of? out herself. Yeah. Do that or her motherly teacher instincts are just naturally kicking in <laughs> he's just resorted to sleeping outside he's like I'm not playing this game I can't blame him Is kid gone Looks like the kid's gone <laughs> he's like good I almost wonder if this is a test to see how much they care about the kid. Huh. Weird. Maybe it's like the alien's bible or something like that. I don't know. I keep calling them aliens. I don't know what it is. I just, just using that term for lack. Just using that for lack of a better term. Where were you today? I was solving the mystery. What did you discover? I'm not allowed to say. <laughs> okay. 
Where were you at today, bro? Let's play a game. <laughs> Can you pretend to be Tom? Gemma, stay! <laughs> That's creepy. Is there anyone else you can do? Someone you met today? Ooh. Pretend to be that person. Doing a little psychology on this kid. Oh god, what is that? See what I'm talking about. She forgot. She got too used to this new world. Nice. Oh god, is that the kid now? Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Holy what you shit. That? Is it fear? Uh he's even creepier as like a old he's <laughs> I don't know what age he's supposed to be. Nineteen, I guess. He does look like the real estate guy, though, from the beginning. Yeah, I wanted to say it does feel like we spent a lot of time with her character and her arc here and what she's going through. We don't, really don't know shit about Tom besides he's like, fuck this whole thing. My boy has just been digging. Should have let him starve in the car. You like playing this game, don't you? Oh, so I assume he's been doing that, like every day, just leaving and disappearing. So you can't let him be turning those corners where you can't see him. That's how you lose him. And I, I wonder if this dude's gonna get anywhere with this. How long's he been digging? Like months at this point? I think my boy found something. Oh. oh. What is that? Tom! Oh man. Get up! They lost each other somehow. It's locked. Oh shit, they're locked out. Maybe it's the end of the, the simulation. Or the game, who knows. Hey! Open the I mean the box at the beginning did say raise the child and you'll be set free. You know, maybe it's time he was released. Oh man, what does that mean, released? See, it's like, your guy's job here is done. So you're of no use to us anymore. Got one more sig? Knew it. Okay. Light that dart, man. Might be your last. I remember what happened after that. Well, this is a nice moment, sir. Reminiscing about how they met, how they fell in love. I finally saw you. Oh, that was a good one. I realized where I was. Tom. Is that curtains for Tom? Tommy boy. I think Tom's done. Well, yeah, I assume they haven't been feeding so them or giving them any water or anything for the last few days now. Now you're stuck here all alone. Oh shit. What's in here? Oh, it's like a body bag. <laughs> wow. That is pretty messed up. Yeah, throw him in that hole. <laughs> wow. Now what do you do? Hmm. Oh yeah. Take him out. Nice! Yes! 
<laughs> Look at that. Oh shit. Oh my god. So that's where he's been disappearing, probably. Oh man. Oh, now we're gonna get to see the underground behind the scenes of all this. What? I honestly have no clue what's going on here. But... Oh, it's another family going through the same thing. Wow. Oh. Ah. Like descending deeper and deeper here. This is like some David Cronenberg shit right now. Back to square one. But it was like she was seeing... So, yeah, kind of like how I figured other people were going through the same thing. One who prepares her son for the world. <laughs> she dies. I knew it. All we wanted... I knew it. I fucking hand. knew it, man. Silly mother. It's like you served your purpose. I'm not your... Mother. Whatever. Used her own word against her. Went through all that. Just to raise this kid and then this is how they treat you. And little did that Tom guy know he was digging his own grave. Him and his boo. You see how it just dissolved into a regular graph. That's really how they're. I guess, yeah. That's how. I guess they're both dead. I can't believe I was expecting a happy ending. Maybe there still might be. I don't know. Uh, is he passing the torch? Oh, that is pretty creative. Huh. So yeah, they need replacements too. Bagged and bagged. Ugh. <laughs> wow, he's the new Martin. Here comes the next victims. <laughs> I dug that ending. Interesting movie there. Wow. Wow. Okay. Alrighty then. Just got finished watching Vivarium, which is streaming on Netflix. And I... Well, it's an interesting movie, first off. Well, first off, I'm down with anything original... And this one especially was very unique. But I think I was spot on even before watching it that it did have that Twilight Zone, Black Mirror vibe to it. My main issue with the movie was that it felt like it could have just been like an hour long Black Mirror episode. Like I don't know if it deserved the runtime of an hour and a half. Although I was still definitely entertained throughout the whole thing. I just feel like... It would have been better if it was truncated into like a 55 minute little episode. Overall though, this is a pretty cool little freaky 
sci-fi movie. I don't know how you'd categorize it. But I, I I had fun watching it, man. It's definitely going through an experience kind of watching this. Interesting role for Jesse Eisenberg. Usually he's kind of the socially awkward nerd. And here he was kind of a straightforward kind of blue collar guy. So I thought that was a inspired casting. Kind of getting him out of his, his normal role. And Imogen... Is it Mogan? I think it's Imogen Poots. I thought she was great too. She really, I feel like, carried a lot of the emotion in this movie. Anyway, I'm sure I'll have a lot more thoughts later, but let me know what you thought of this movie in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling the reaction, and I will get back to you sometime next week. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.